Welcome to RB's Place. Today I will be testing out a new kitchen gadget which I picked off of Wish.com which I've seen some good reviews and also found it on Amazon as well. This little gadget, I will flip the camera around and show you. This little gadget, like I said, found it on. Neat thing is, perfect for chicken legs, chicken wings, and chicken quarters. Space them out. There you go. Just to give you that kind of more of an oven roasted style chicken in the oven. I'm going to test it out. I'm going to do up a little rub for the chicken legs of the consistent of garlic powder, black pepper, Himalayan salt and some parsley. Rub that together, rub that on and then stick this in the oven for 35 minutes at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Or, sorry, 200 degrees Celsius, 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I will keep these posted. Also, I'll be doing a surprise too. Something new I came across. Keep these posted. I'm back. What I've done, I've added some paprika as well to give it that smoky flavor. In a bowl, roughly about a tablespoon each of all the ingredients. Ingredients. <laughs> I'm having a speech problem tonight, but like I said, Himalayan pink salt, parsley flakes, dried garlic powder, and some pepper. And put it in a container. Give it a shake. Really good so everything looks nice and coated evenly. And look at that, doesn't that look beautiful? And then hanging on the rack. Blow that up. Give the stove top a wipe down because I'm going to need that for later. But, like I said, chicken there they are well we'll give these guys a nice little bake off say goodbye make it very garlicky because we like garlic in our house as well. This is about half a cup of chopped garlic. Tablespoons of basil, tablespoons, two tablespoons of oregano. 
half a teaspoon of black pepper and just a pinch of salt. Gentle toss, the garlic, and all the rest of the herbs. And mix in with the ring with the asparagus and the shallot and the leeks. Leeks, or you can use green onions, whatever your preference is. Like I said, reduce the heat to between medium and low, and cover and let simmer for about five to ten minutes. Heat's been reduced. Water for the pasta is almost ready to boil. And on to the habanera cream sauce. down and let's take a peek at the chicken. Here we go. You're just sizzling away. Neat little contraption. I've also seen hacks on YouTube where they actually use the oven rack. But our oven racks are just a little too wide. So I resorted to finding this gadget on Wish. And you, like I said, you can also find it on Amazon. And you can use these on your barbecue as well. Keep posted. Okay, we're back for an update. Look at that. Oh, you smell that. So gently let it simmer. So the asparagus still has a slight crunch to it and the shallots have a slight transparent color to it give it a little more of a mix up and like I said I got the pasta on the go you can use pasta, any style of pasta, regular spaghetti noodles, fettuccine noodles, uh, penne as well. Uh, oh, there it is. Oh, doesn't that look delicious? Ooh. Working the camera a little different today, but... top oh look at that keep that covered set this aside and onto the sauce
I'm gonna make this a little extra creamy. Add approximately half a cup of milk. Two cups of table cream. Or you can use half and half. There's one. And two. Increase the heat and then bring this to a slight boil and we'll add in two egg, two large egg yolks. And then two cups of shredded Parmesan cheese. Shredded, grated, I'm using a bit of both. And then Chicken's almost done, and the pasta's almost done. And then dinner will be served. Okay, the cream's coming to a slight boil. Well, I'm gonna take the two eggs, whisk them in. Keep whisking. Now for the cheese. And reduce the heat and let thicken. Oops. Now you can add a little bit of pepper to this if you like, or salt, but only add like a pinch. And just continue the whisk until it thickens. And then like I said, reduce the heat and dinner is served. I may just add a pinch of pepper and a pinch of salt. And if you have white pepper, then definitely use that. It'll hide better and just blend in with the with the mixture a lot better. There you go, a very simple and easy cabanera sauce. The creamy cabanera sauce. Stay tuned. And we're back. As you can see, sauce is all ready. Side. Yeah, another good mix. Oh, you can smell that sauce. I'll take some of it. There you go. That aside. There we go. Mix it up. Oh, just smell that Parmesan cheese. Oh, 
You can smell it. Give it a good mix. Now, delicious. Now, make some of this delicious delight of asparagus, leeks, and shallot. Not a whole lot. There we go. And give it another toss. Now, traditionally with the carbonara sauce, there's an Italian meat. Uh, look it up. And sheta, which is the backside, right around like the jaw part of the pig or of the pig. And it's almost like bacon, but it's a little bit thicker, a little bit meatier. You can substitute pancetta if you can't locate it at your local grocery store. So you can substitute with bacon, or another one that's close is prosciutto, which is almost similar as well. And then now. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? Oh yeah, look at that. Now if you want, just take a little bit. There you go. Now, I'll be right back with the chicken. Oh, look at that. Well worth the $20, $19.99 on Wish. Like I said, I'm not affiliated or sponsored by the company that makes this or Wish or Amazon. I saw the product online, thought I'd order it and give it a try, and I do highly recommend it as well. Uh, if you like, contact me and I can give you the link to both sites if you wish to order this from either companies like I said once again I'm not affiliated or sponsored by wish.com or amazon.ca anyhow doesn't that look delicious And there you have it. Dinner is served. Bowtie pasta mixed with a cabinet cream sauce. Mixed with a mixture of asparagus. Diced in about one inch pieces. Sauteed in a garlic. Olive oil and red wine vinegar mixture with garlic, pepper, parsley, or sorry, basil, and oregano. With my fancy device, the cooked chicken legs with, or chicken quarters. And there you have it. Dinner served.
Bon Appetit. Hope you enjoyed my tasty eats. And once again, thank you for your love and support out there for my channel. Y'all take care and stay tuned for more recipes to come. Raphael at RB's Place, signing off.